This song is Your Love is a Drug by uh, Kira Miki. Mm. Are they all, right, all by the same person? Huh? Are they all by the same person? The songs? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh... <laughs> okay. Never mind about that. Uh, Does he uh, need uh, one of Big Beer again? Uh, he, he will... Oh, okay, real talk. He'll exclusively right now. take Big Beers? He, this man exclusive. only wants Big Beers. So I'll just tell you this right now. Okay? Oh, Donovan Co will, is a recurring character in this game. Who only wants who Big Beers. Only drink, I mean, he, may, he might ask you for something else eventually, but it's Big Beers for today. This man Jesus. just want the beer. Beer. Here. Oh, that's... That's the big things that make life worthwhile. What about big troubles? Is it a stutter kid? Bitch. Right. So tell me, do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. If a place smells like soap and dog piss, I'm within my constitutional rights to call it a hellhole. Okay, listen, just because we had a bunch of dogs over this weekend. <laughs> I'm doing my best over here! Thank you very much! What was that? That would be important. Hey, I heard that! Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole, if you like. Charming. So, celebrities? Not really. At least not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. You're not making me feel special, honey. Ew. And second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people. Especially the red carpet kind of famous. Those folks people pretend to love but actually want to see fall from grace. You know the ones? Pretend to love? Fall from grace? Jesus Christ, I gotta explain to this girl everything. Why do you think that gossip about famous people always sells? People pretend that they love celeb- celeb- celebs? Celebs. Celebs. But the, what they really want to see is their idols torn down to their level. No. They want to see them suffer to get their com- Comeuppance. Their comeuppance for daring to be so much more success successful than them. No. Nah, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys, but nobody wants to admit enjoying it. You thought wrong. But even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to escape their lives by living someone else's. Sadly, I fail to see the appeal in that whole thing. What do I care if this guy I saw in a random movie was wearing socks with sandals if they're dating God knows who? Granted, socks with sandals is practically a public indecency, but still. Oh, please, as a bartender, I bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that shit. Just like hairdressers. This sounds, this sounds hypocritical coming from you. Even if that's the case, I don't sensationalize what people do. I'm not making it more than that person, you know, from TV acts like a human. My god. Sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day, I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girl was wearing to the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. But this problem exists because they are the ones constantly cultivating the ideas that they are perfect and untouchable. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they, luxury they can think of. All that just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. Can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to say they're human. Hey, that dude that plays the nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help, sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're instigating a, be a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. You like your big words, huh, Brent? Excuse me. Well, two can play that game of... Yeah. Um, eh. <laughs> Hey, you're a bartender, right? No, I'm a lab rat hellbent on world conquest. Sarcasm wasted my time, my money, and my and your energy. Refrain from using it. Anyway, I just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing topics. Maybe. Why? Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. It would be like that priest who published confessionary stories and then got excommunicated and lynched. People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. A personal stranger of, of sorts. 
who could have you ghostwriting. Half of your half of our stuff don't do that. Does that? They you do. Know. You don't really think Lana Smith is just one person, do you? Figures. I anyway, eventually the people from the stories would know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, if you ever retire, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember me two, free two weeks from now. <laughs> Fair. Sure. Do you want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Did I say something wrong? Not at all, I just really like the sound of that. <laughs> Mr. Don- Mr. Donovan! Is it really that special? <laughs> I fucking hated that this voice is just so good. Yeah. At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson, or boss. Oh my god, Bo his last name is Dawson. <laughs> <laughs> boss, anyway. is just a, boss is just a title. It's too impersonal and cold. It, it, it is. Mr. Dawson was my father and my grandfather. It's too general. But Mr. Donovan, now that's more like it. They're referring to me, to the man in front of them. Not to my family, not the position as boss, to me. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, gods, no. But I want them to fear me. Not because I'm their boss or the name appearing on their paychecks. But rather because I strike mortal dread into them. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to make everyone call me that. Oh, yeah. You were asking something, now what was it? Drink another one, do you? Oh, yes, yes. You know what? Third time's the charm. Give me a beer. Alright. Fucking. I know. I guess what. Oh, guess what he wants? A fucking big beer. It's a big beer. <laughs> also, I just remembered what that's called. Um, where the dog was speaking in the stupid language. Oh, yeah, what is it called? Pig Latin. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, that's funny. Where you put, you put the first letter, follow it by A at the end of the thingy. Uh, oh. One more. So it'd be like, uh, Inya. Instead of thingy, it'll be Inya. Yeah. In- In- Yeah. Inca. So for beer, it'll be, uh, I Irba. I Irba. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Sorry. One well, bidu. Here's hoping I don't pass out. Cheers. Clunk. Enjoy. Say, so, kid, does this bar have any investors? He didn't call it a hellhole? There was some bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all over the place. Aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there's no local investors. Why? Just wanted to let you know how lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Those bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that got you really bad. Jesus. Those bastards think they're so... Why is there only two songs on the fucking... Fucking change the a skip to another song. There you go, Jesus. Those bastards think they're so important because they put their money in my company. Well, that's... I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing and I'll give you your goddamn money. But no, they have to stick their noses and start changing the silliest of stuff. What good is it to be the boss if you still... Okay, this song is not good for this, this scene. This song is a little loud, too. Okay. I mean, I could lower... Yeah, I could lower the volume, but that's a bad idea because I haven't changed the audio the entire time yeah, we were recording. Yeah, it's probably fine. There we go, it's better. What good is it to be the boss if you still have to, be, to work for someone else? You still have to answer to unions, the government, those kind of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's paperwork. I'll make somebody else do it and call it a day. These losers ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they found offensive. And there's always that one guy or gal that says, hey, why don't you do that? You do what the other newspaper does. Recently, they told me that they needed more clicks. More clicks! I'll make sure they keep stuff spicing while they're still keeping production quality up. But it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? Wah. They want more clicks? I don't give them more clicks. Wow. I, I know. So many I know. Problems. I fucking hate Donovan, too. It's the, I, the worst part is to just start with Donovan and. I'm not saying it's gonna get worse, but you're about to meet Ingram. Oh god. I'll show them what happens when I do what they want and don't reject ideas. They don't know who the hell Donovan D doesn't is. Should I be worried? Nah, I don't give a shit. At least he paid before storming off. 
Whatever happened with Sven, though. We never heard from him again. Jill! Yes? What the hell happened in the bathroom? The kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. Crafty dogs, I tell you. You'd think their short legs would hinder them. The ceiling, the sinks, the toilet, the, the vents! Shh, you'll wake up Briar Rose over there. I... I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, a client. <clears throat> Welcome to Valhalla, what can I... Big gut punch, fast. Alright. Give this man... A... <laughs> I want to give him a gut punch, alright. Give him a big gut punch. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's ten units of bitter. Two, uni two units of fucking acid, and then, like, a fucking pinch of alcohol. Age it and mix it. I put in two alcohols. Uh, it's supposed to mean a punch made of innards, but the name actually describes what you feel while drinking it. Here. Huh. You can actually do it, then. I mean... Huh. Scrack has a bar. Hellhole, crack house, what's next? It smells like a dog... It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? I'm surprised you decided to come into our little crack house at all, Mr... What the hell do you care? The payment registry says. Sorry for the question then, Mr. Ingram McDougal. <laughs> Sorry about the smell, we're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend. But it's Tuesday. Please. Let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant regardless. <laughs> Customer service voice. If I pay you, will you come with me to a motel for a couple of hours? Ingram is a piece of shit. Yeah. No, 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 no. 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 Yeah, no. Th this is why the start of, the of this game is so bad, because you go from Donovan to Ingram. Thankfully, Ingram won't be around for much. Good. Then <laughs> will I kill him? <laughs> Oh, it wouldn't be great if you could poison drinks, yeah. No, Ingram is a piece of shit. Thankfully, we have girls after this. After this. God. Then I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. There we go. The dread. Such pleasant clientele tonight. Ooh. Also, the, the worst part is that, like, like, to some people that are like, oh, wow, this is so exaggerated. No, no, no this is customer service. No, no, I w there would be someone who would make that joke to, to yeah, you. Yeah, to a bartender, yeah. To anyone, to or a to retail anyone, service yeah, to anyone, person. Yeah, yeah. May I ask why you decided to come to our bar, then? Somebody recommended me this place, and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all. I'm starting to doubt her tastes. A regular? Can I ask who? No. Alright. I'll concede one thing, though. <clears throat> Whoever picks the music at least has decent taste. That's me. Uh, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> sorry. Hey, Jill. Where did you put the dish soap? Your gill's running out. Below the sink, where it's always been. Right. Oh, a customer. Uh, good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So, any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? No, nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Dana Sane, the Red Comet. The woman who fended off Maul Riders all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. That's an achievement and a title I've never heard before. I know boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? I heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastical to be true. <sighs> You've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed rioters with her bare hands. Once you see something like that, it's hard. It's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax, though. I've only seen her, see her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved class 5 weaponry, and the other one was a, had a pick, was a pickup artist, and the list had an alpaca. An alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but there's this woman that owns a textile company. She's got she got really drunk and she started screaming she was an alpaca. She started spitting on everything afterwards. My boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's leave it at that. 
Can I get you anything else? Give me a pile driver, please. Please. That's a word I haven't heard today. Coming right up. Uh, the pile driver should be particularly interesting because... Uh, oh, okay. Well, okay. Uh, I mean, you will learn eventually. I think the pile driver is the one that your boss actually invented. Oh, fair. Uh, it doesn't burn as hard on the tongue, but you better not have a sore throat when you when you drink it, when drinking it. Bitter, manly, and burning. Here. Huh. It's fine, I guess. Hey, lady. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's gross. He's gross. I know. I know. Have you ever faked an orgasm? The shit people can say to some re some service. Yeah, workers. yeah, yeah. The worst part is that this is like totally like. Yeah, this would just come up. And, and, and the worst part, and and I really do feel it, is because Jill's a bartender. Yeah. So they feel is that like well, you, uh, and it's also the, the whole thing of like. She has to be there behind the counter. Yeah. She can't say no. She can't she, say no. She can't you know hang up on me. Right. Uh, and also, I mean, I, mean, I don't want to get to real right now, but like, I told you, like, and I was telling Plague, like, I knew this guy who would hit on every, like, cashier he ever met. Which is disgusting. Which is disgusting. And in his mentality, it was, was like, it was like, you know, like, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And I'm like, you're gross. Those ladies can't go anywhere. They can't just be like, please leave me alone, you fucking creep. They can't be like, um, no, I refuse your service. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, I think I heard wrong. I ask if you've ever faked an orgasm. That's a question I'm not going to answer. I'll take that as a yes. Also, like, if you look at Jill's face, you literally just, like, see just, like, customer service, just like, I'm Yep. I just think about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere of people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Can they? Reality will come crashing through the door eventually. But for that moment, the lie can give meaning to you. I say lies are like your porn stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Does that mean you're re you've really faked orgasms? Because you look like you have a lot of experience. <laughs> you look like you have a lot of. Ex <laughs> you look like you have a lot of damage. <laughs> oof! Oof! <laughs> Still, that's quite a random thought to just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really. Just thinking about pe people making polite comments about this crack house. Of course you were. Hey, I might need another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright. Give him a fucking fuck, fringe Guess weaver. what? That's the last thing you give him for now. Thank <laughs> God. I know. Isn't, the, isn't this the... Like, like I, not, not, not to be like fucking... Okay, okay, well, you know, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, you know what? No, no, I'll just be honest with you. Those are the two worst characters in this whole story. Dope. It's Donovan and fucking Ingram, and you meet them right away. Try not to drink it too fast. Spills it on him. That's up to me. <laughs> hey, lady, have you ever felt empty? I'm not your therapist. Some people think bartenders are their they fucking really therapists. fucking do. <laughs> My dad. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> savage. I am savage. Empty how? Like hungry? No, I mean empty like there's a part of you missing. Can't say I particularly have. I just feel like there's this part of myself that lacks something. An urge to, to, to get or do something that I just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? It might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising. Sounds like a lot cheaper than the alternative. Which is? Bitches and alcohol. I tried sex tourism once. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STD, so I left midway through. <laughs> no comment on the part of Kitty. I once burned my Christmas... Bonus hiring three women for an orgy. Porn is more amusing and way cheaper. I've also hired a girl who acted like my daughter for a day for three years in a row now. Now, just to be clear, like, give it one more. Give it one more. One more click. Nothing seems to do it. Uh, I will clarify this right now. Not to have sex with his daughter, just to pretend to be his daughter. To have it like a sugar daddy, basically. To, to yeah. be a sugar daddy, though. Yeah. Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, I wanted to clarify. Fair. Th this but will be clarified also, by the story later on. But also. But also, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah. Keep going. I know, he's fucking... It, it, this is why I say the start of the game is so fucking rough, because you have to deal with Donovan and then this jackass. Um... Have you tried rescuing a puppy? You can't fuck puppies. At least you shouldn't. I'm drawing a blank then. Can't think of anything that might help. Especially since you're on the bestiality. I was expecting you to help me. Or to believe me. What? I could have been lying through you through my... I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. <sighs> anyway, I'm leaving now. The smell's killing me. Please come again, but don't actually. Don't count on it. Please, thank God. Good. Uh, boss, I'm gonna take my break. All right. I need it. Oh, it's everybody. There's Dorothy down there. Also, <laughs> uh, you should actually totally save, but not over my. Uh... Oh, oh, there's actually uh, there's characters here. There's Jill up here mm -hmm. on the upper left, on the upper right. I think that's. That's Dana? actually the boss. Yeah, Dana. Yeah. Dorothy's down here, and there's a character you haven't met over on the lower left. Where do I save? Uh, uh, first page. Uh, the second plot. This. Yeah. Okay. And you... Oh, uh, you sh we shouldn't because the episode's over. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. You have all made it through the heart... Girls start now. <laughs> girls. Girls. Uh, girls. There will be girls in this story, thank there God. There will be girls. There Will Be Girls is the title of my upcoming visual novel roguelike. There Will Be Girls. There will... Okay, I was thinking of Gods Will Be Watching. Uh, it's, it's, it's fine. It wasn't even a roguelike. It's fine. Get out of here. Close the video. Okay. Jokes are over. <laughs> Go Jokes home. Jokes are dead.